Hello everyone, this is Pamela from Design Witches by Pamela, here to share with you my latest project. For this project, I use the Photo Play Vintage Girl Paper Collection. I also use some of the uh, ephemera cards that you can get separate with the collection, but this is the paper pack and sticker sheet that I use for this project. I used a Graphic 45 book box for this project. I don't have one to show you um, because I only had one, uh, but I will be sharing photos of what that looks like on my blog at Design Wishes um, by Pamela.wordpress.com. Anyway, I love the papers in this uh, paper collection by Photo Play. It it's very girly. As you can see, a lot of black and a lot of pink um, colors in the collection. On the front of the box here, I used a sticker from the sticker sheet. I used a piece of acetate that I had for the window, and I just cut the window out of the box. When you get the Graphic 45 box, this piece is solid, so I just cut a window out of that lid, and the lid opens up. And then I used some sticker elements, and I popped those up with acetate. So the chair that you see here, the shoe, the dress, that's all popped up uh, with some acetate to, see, to show that it looks like it's floating. And then I used a banner from the sticker sheet for the back and then also another sticker element. I popped that up with the foam square. On the back of the box display, I took a sticker once again. I uh, popped this portion up with some foam squares to give it a three-dimensional look. On the back of the box, I used the sticker element some of the uh, beautiful paper here and then another sticker element here. On the top of the box I made this little charm um, of beads. The, the smaller beads are from Tim Holtz. This is from my jewelry making supplies. I made this, uh, I put this bead together here and then this little um, lavender like jewel is from um, some beading uh, accessories that I've had. I used some Melissa Francis pink ribbon here and some black tulle that I had. On the side of the box, if you get the Graphic 45 book box, it comes with a set of tags and I'll go over those in a minute. On the side of the box, I cut a slit for the tags to go in. As you can see, once you slide the tags in here, you can't see them from the front because I made a false panel um, on the back where you see the banner. So the, the you can't see the tags go in. There is enough room if you add some additional embellishments or photos to the tags. The tags can slide in and out. It's about a half of an inch or more um, onto uh, the inside of the box the inside of this slit. You have plenty enough room inside there to add photos to your tags. On the tags, I took one of the uh, paper pack um, elements, the cut aparts, and I made a pocket out of it and then I just used the tag. I made a tag to go inside that pocket. I used some of the sticker elements on the top of the tag. I used the Graphic 45 die, die um, set to do the lining of each uh, tag mat. On the back of this one, I took some of the stripe paper from the collection. I cut a slit in one of the stripes to make a pocket, and then I made a tag, and I used some of the sticker elements there to do the embellishment with the banner uh, tab up at the top. For this one, I used the music note paper from the paper collection. This is a cut up uh, ephemera uh, piece from the paper collection and I just made a belly band and a simple red tag um, to go inside there. On the back I took one of the ephemera pieces I glued just a portion of it so that I made a little slit for another tag um, that goes right in there. 
on the last tag, I took some of the paper and I made a pocket. I took one of the sticker elements here and put it across there. And then there is a photo mat or a tag or a journaling card. On the back of this tag, I made a classic. I do this on almost every album uh, or layout that I do. I take the punch from Stampin' Up and I make a little slit pocket. And then I took one of the cut aparts and I made a booklet. I took one of the ephemera elements and made a little slit um, so that a little small tag can go in there. And then I made a small um, pocket here for another tag and then uh, used some of the sticker element here for the front of the pocket. And then that's the back of it. And that just goes right in here. And then I just, to carry on the beading, I just added another one of the Tim Holtz um, pearl beads um, on the end of the ring that you get inside the Graphic 45 book box. But the fun thing that I did with this box is I wanted it, it to stand out just a little bit more. So what I did was I got a little light element and then it lights up. So it's a lighted up box and you can really see the detail inside the box with the stickers and the lovely papers that are from the vintage girl collection but I thought that was really really cool and I just wanted a little vignette box that you can do you can use as a photo mini photo album um, or a little a mini journal but it also could be a little lighted vignette box um, that I thought was really fun and cute. So I really love putting this together. Super adorable papers from the Vintage Girl collection uh, from Photoplay. And I want to put a shout out to Daphne and Julie from Scrap and Create. They actually had this at the fall retreat, this paper collection, and I picked it up and I just absolutely love it. So thanks Julie and Daphne for having that at your Scrap and Create event. So once again, I, I truly hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Um, look for more of my videos either on my blog, Design Wishes by Pamela at WordPress.com or uh, on my Facebook page, Design Wishes by Pamela or through this YouTube channel. So thanks so much for watching.